Okay, in this video we're going to do another example related to the formal definition of a limit, and it'll be very similar to what we did in the last example. So here we're going to be given that uh, the limit as x approaches negative 1 of the function 3x plus 1, that equals negative 2. And what we want to do is we want to find the largest value of delta so that uh, the quantity 3x plus 1 plus 2 is going to be less than epsilon whenever x plus 2 is less than delta and epsilon equals 0 0.01. So again, that looks kind of confusing, I think, maybe at first. But again, this is all that we're saying. So let's graph the function y equals 3x plus 1. Okay, well, y equals 3x plus 1. That's just a line that has a y-intercept of positive 1 and then has a slope of positive 3. So it would look something like that. All right, so just to give myself a little bit of room here, let's suppose um, here's going to be x equals negative 1. So notice, again, if we plug in negative 1 into our function, we would get 3 times negative 1, which would be negative 3. Negative 3 plus 1, well, hey, that would give us negative 2. All this original condition says is, okay, so epsilon is going to be 0 0.01. So that says we can be at most, um, we want to be, I shouldn't even say at most, we want to be less than 0 0.01 away. So if we were exactly 0 0.01 away, we would be at the number negative 1.99. Um, if we were below negative, or I guess a number bigger than negative 2. And if we go, uh, if we look at the number that's smaller than negative 2 by 0 0.01, well, we would be at negative uh, 2.01. So same thing as before, what we want to try to do is figure out the corresponding interval around the x value of negative 1. And we want to find that interval so that if I take any number inside of that interval, well, if I take any x coordinate inside of that interval and I plug it into my function, I'm going to get a y value that's inside of, it, that's between the numbers negative 1.99, negative 2.01. Okay. Well, in this case, again, the way that we're going to do it is we're just going to uh, we're just going to figure out what the x coordinate to the right of negative one is, and we'll figure out what the x coordinate to the left of negative one is, just by setting things equal. So, if the y coordinate were going to equal negative one point nine nine, well, we can just take our function three x plus one, set that equal to negative one point nine nine. And now we'll just do a little bit of algebra. We can subtract 1 from both sides. That'll give us 3x equals negative 2.99. And then when we divide by 3, well, we'll just get negative 2.99 divided by 3. So in this case, let me compute this uh, real quick. So I'm getting this to be the value point um, negative 0.99667 after uh, a little bit of rounding here. Okay, so that means the x coordinate that's a little bit bigger than negative 1 is simply going to be negative 0.9967. And let's see, if we figure out the other x value, we'll just do 3x plus 1. We'll set that equal to negative 2.01. Again, we want to figure out what x value gives us that y value. Well, we can subtract 1 from both sides. That'll give us negative 3.01. Do the same thing as before. We'll divide by 3. So when we take 3 and divide it, excuse me, when we take uh, 3.01 and divide that by 3, I'm getting this to be negative 1.00333 after rounding. Okay, so now I've got my two x coordinates. Um, they're basically going to be the exact same distance away from the number negative 1 just because our function in this case is a linear function. So again, what, what have we got here? Let me make the picture maybe a little bit bigger. So on the x-axis, here's negative 1. Um, here's negative 9 point, uh, excuse me, negative 0.9967. And then we've got our other x value of negative 1.0033. Um, and I'm going to round it. I guess let's use the same number of uh, decimal places. It says if we take any x-coordinate inside of that interval, so here's our y-axis, it says if we take any x-coordinate inside of that interval, it says we're going to get a y-value 
that is between negative 1.99 and negative 2.01. So in this case, um, if you think about the length of this interval, delta is just going to be uh, 0 0.0033. Um, and that's going to be our value of our delta. It says if you take, if you go at most 0 0.0033 away um, from the number negative 1, it says we're going to get y values in the, the desired range.